フルカウンター My boy Shanla has come home and we have now got him on Global Grand Cross and we're now going to use him. I think tomorrow I might even make a review on him. I think that's one thing I kind of want to start doing now is make a review on characters and kind of go over like a little summary about the character and if they are good in the game. And uh, I'm sure you lot know what I'm going to say about this channel. But today I want to use him. Unfortunately, because I didn't really plan to more or less use the demon team we have to use this and it's not the best thing right because uh yeah you want to have debuffs oh god i i hate channel <laughs> like the what he done to him but god he looks so sick man but today i want to use uh we well, have to put sorry link on because he does need some debuffs to be fair even though mine is one six so i only get five percent base stance channel is not the dps here so you only really care about playing debuffs here and one thing that annoys me about the demon team it's so exclusive it's so exclusive you have to get Esterosa, otherwise the demon team does not work you have to have trade to many with this new channel because then the channel doesn't really give um too many buffs here and you want to have Omnis and Nebuzeldris which uh is arguably the rarest character in the game because the guy's only ever gonna return every like six months on seasonal banners and when he does return the guy is not gonna be guaranteed so good luck getting him maybe if they ever return the fever banner then maybe I can get him then but uh I had no hopes here so we are using this um this is Eldritch, which um I mean, I have to. There's literally him or Chandler in the back line, but uh, we want to use Chandler today. So, uh, yeah, Living Fortune, not by far the best demon team because you want to have Zelda just to have effect. You kind of need effect here, but uh, let's see how Chandler perform. I assume, I assume nothing great because literally all he's there to do is literally apply darkness for Esserosa, which you can do with Sigurd, which you can do with Green Derriere, which you can do with any single demon. It's just probably one of the better ones, but not that great. CC is terrible. Let me show you a lot, by the way. I know... I'm We'll go over it tomorrow's video probably, but uh, I think I have HP defense on. 61k. Oh, shocking. All right, so you lot know how the demon team works. If you start first, you win. And we... You see a bot? I oh, know, I'm versing a lot of bots today. Or people were like a revenge food. Let me just make sure. I just need to make sure it's actually a real player. It is. Okay, so might be evade food. So I'm actually going to do one single target channel first. Just because that will be out the evade. Oh, supply debuff on. And then uh, we can do two of these. Actually, make sure check the uh, siren just in case it isn't. But, um, yeah, it just should be. Oh, you saw the wrong card. No. Why did this? Okay, it wasn't a bait for you. There's no point. But that's probably the only good thing Chandler's good for is to bait out a bait for you. Yeah, I, I mean, see if I'm going to kill anyway. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll just do that then. I mean, yeah, why not? We'll just go full AOE just, just to piss him off a little bit. We'll get the encroachment. I think they can cleanse the encroachment, so there's no point. Uh, but we'll still do it anyway, I think. I mean, you know what? Maybe I don't actually because I don't have infect. So I can't really risk it. Yeah, okay. I'll just send off a. Did he heal? I can't see. How much HP has he got? I can't tell. Uh, 60k. Okay, I think we'll do one encroachment. We'll do that to apply encroachment. Uh, this will guarantee kill, and then that will be two, and then we'll do three. Yeah, this should work. 99k. You know what? It's, it's not bad. It's definitely the best AoE demon skill we can have in the game right now. Outside of like, um, you know, Zeldris and also Mediota. So, if you compare it, it's not too bad. It's just, the other skill is terrible. Like, the I think everyone agree that the AoE Pierce card is actually good. It's just this skill is so useless. Like, you're never going to use it. Like, I, I'd say the only good thing about this channel card, I'll say in my tomorrow's review, basically, is that you need to, at tier 3 of stances, right? Which is obviously a little bit annoying to get because you have to get to a tier 3 card. But the only good thing is, because you're never going to use it, it's going to actually become a tier 3, as you can see right now. If I didn't use that tier 1 card at the start of the game, I would have had a tier 3 actual stance removal card. And yeah, it's just apply AOE cards. That's literally all he is. That's why it's quite annoying. So I hope he does get an actual good relic, or at least a relic that buffs himself up, rather than almost died there. Because if the relic... Even if Relic is the buff up the team, I it's not a bad thing. I just I wouldn't like it because as it is right now, he has no identity outside of the demon team. Because all he's doing right now is applying darkness, which uh, is quite annoying. So we'll do this. Um I'll do it anyway to see how much damage it does do. And then um or, or uh, recently I should just use um I should I should kill two people here, but uh we'll, we'll do it anyway, because I want to see how much damage the channel can do. 100 k and now we uh corroded uh, 75? Six seven, yeah, it's not great, is it? I mean, Tifa, I could have killed two people. I could have killed Margaret as well, but I wanted to see how much damage Chandler could do. He got ultimate, so if he's got a cleanse, he actually could be saved here. But is he going to kill my Chandler? If he doesn't kill Chandler, then I'll just buff him even. Although I, I guess if it's six six, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, you know what though? 
I mean, you lot can see right now, rather, how myself. If okay, you lot know, I don't like this skill. If they gave him expel, good lord, good lord. What, yeah, he got a thing. Okay, that's annoying. Hopefully, it's not six six. But imagine if that was expel. Oh, I would be different story. It'll be a different story. The channel will be top tier. The sure is not six six, right? Yeah, no, he doesn't. Ah, oh, we didn't get to see Chan's outro. But to be fair, it's exactly the blue one. But yeah, man, if that was expelled, that would be so sick, bro. Because that would actually be a good... Like, if that's just a buff version of Menu's ultimate. Because it stops them from using two skills. Because Chandler stunning someone is useless. Plus, they can obviously cleanse it. But if it was, if it was expel, they can't cleanse it. And also, they can only use two skills. Ah, oh, that would have been a dream. That would have been a dream. All right, we found a Pergony Bond. Don't mind those, but uh, hopefully, once again, he's a real player. Because uh, you're kind of getting shafted lately with just uh, all the bots. Once again, low CC, I think if you bought HP food, that would have been around 180, but it could be evade, because that's what they love to use nowadays, I think. Uh, it is? Okay, now it's got to be evade food. There's no way, yeah, with relics, he's got evade food on. All right, so I'll attack with this first then, and we'll do two AoEs. There's no way. I don't believe it. Never mind. What? Yeah, you got that low CC with relics on as well. What the hell? Uh, I guess you got level 90. Fair enough, fair enough. This guy must be a new player. Or not new, I couldn't say that, I shouldn't say that, because he's got more relics than I do, probably. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, that's, um, kind of an L. But good hand here, I think. Once again, I guess the only good thing <laughs> about Chandler's buff removal is against the Barn team. But then again, the SDO team never struggled against Barns. It's not even that big of a deal. But, um... At least what I can do is use the buff removal skill, the apply the buff, and then because the damage is so little, it's gonna make Alpha not. He's gonna make him a little bit low enough to where I actually can kill with an SRO card. But he's going for Chandler. Oh, I can't even buff him, even in mind. I'll just do AoE then. Is he going straight for Chandler? I mean, maybe that's a good thing about Chandler then. Because Chandler, I guess, is the target for some reason. Uh, but yeah, we'll do a AoE right now. And then that will be free, free for both of them. Although he's got debuff immunity. Uh, we'll play Corona onto the, S or to the actual R4. And then uh, we'll do a tier 2 just to guarantee the killer. So why not, right? Who's got Tarmin Link on? Is it, is, it the, is it the Barn or Reinhard? I see Reinhard just because he's um, level 100. Probably got some dupes on as well. Okay, hopefully he doesn't get debuff me again. They'll cuck me here, not gonna lie. He got damage increase. Okay, I think it's fine. Don't think he can kill me here. And uh, also one thing as well, I guess it's a good thing too. We can buff remove the actual Twiggo relic. But once again, the s team never struggled against Barn. It's like the easiest we can go up against, really. Hopefully, I, I see that I don't lose here. Yeah, we should be trying. Right, hopefully, no more AoEs. Okay, way to the tier 2 into my channel. We'd love to see it. Good thing I've maxed out some of his cosmetics. Otherwise, he would have died there. But we need one AOE card for Mediodis, I think. Otherwise, we might have lost here. Because I need to corrode them. Okay, we did. Nice. Are you level 80? So I'm pretty sure the one tier one will kill. Hopefully, he kills. I, I'm mistaken here, boys. Hang on. But he's corroded now, I think. But he didn't kill. No. Okay, um. Hopefully, now. Yeah, bro. If I use that into the, the actual. Uh, What's his name? That would be sick. Okay, hopefully we survive here. I mean, they're both corroded, right? Surely. He got the old sand crease, but he's here 6-6, six, six, so he's going to get all the buffs anyway. Yeah, he's fully sending it into the actual, uh, what's his name? The, the Reinhard. But it's, it's, surely he doesn't kill, right? Yeah, he's corroded. I right, thank God, because, yeah, bro, I thought, you know what? I've seen Reinhard do bits, though, with the buff on. Uh, we'll just do this. I think it's the play. Uh, we'll get rid of the evade, because, um... I'm pretty sure my debuffs go through the evade, but I'd rather just apply it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Plus, you apply a bit more darkness, and then uh, Medi should be able to wipe here. Yeah, we buff him with this well. Uh, should be in to kill all of them. Okay, apart from Reinhardt, yeah, he could always stand increase, so it's fair enough. But yeah, Chanda does kind of help against this Reinhardt, I guess. But like, once again, man, the, the team didn't struggle. I mean, if anything, if I had my actual Zelda in, I actually would have done better, because Zelda can use some effect and also drain, and also just be a blue character and not one, get one hit by Reinhardt, basically. All right, from the looks of it, another Barn team, but that's all I'm finding. Like, I found a Kyo as well, which is crazy. But like, I'm not finding real people. I found a lot, a lot of bots there, which is actually kind of surprising. But, um,. Let's see how, I mean, once again, we can't just win against the team because it's, it's obvious, but uh, we'll do uh, the Chandler first because, uh, once again, it could be around evade food. I'm kind of getting worried about evade food right now because it's kind of cocking me lately. So, um, we'll just bait out in case. Oh, why the target barn? Okay, you did have evade food. Bless. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. Because, bro, if, if they evade their weak cards, it's ruined my run. So, you got to bait out. So, that's probably one good thing about Chandler's card is that you can just get rid of it. That's, like, the best thing about it. Yeah, then now we do it AoE. Um, we'll probably just do a tier one with, with my melee. It should make the actual... Um, well, it will corrode, basically. So we should be all right here, I think. 
Okay, do I survive? Ah, you know what? Yeah, I guess the demon team does alright against Spawn's damage now. Barney's lose. Like, before in the past, that would, like, almost get your team down to, like, 1 HP. Hopefully, you don't get any more mergers here, because that room I run a bit. But, um, we'll do this. Um, that'll be two. This should make him weak enough. And then, um, this should basically... I don't know how he didn't buff up. This, uh, should kill, I think. No one survives a tier 1 card, right? Especially with the blue or red. It shouldn't do too much damage here. No relic, no relic. Oh, bless. Yeah, yeah, the bless, bless, bless. I'm too fair. That did 195k. Would that have killed either way? Like, even without? No, he would have cleansed the debuff, right? Because we got... That, that was the four pits. He would have cleansed the corroded. Okay, yeah, so that we actually got saved there. We, uh... That's... See what I mean? I always say this. Like, I'm going to see in my review tomorrow. The... This... Stance cancels on a tier 3, which is bad, right? I think I might already said it. I'm not too sure. But um, somehow, my in my game today, I've gotten this card to a tier 3 like five, six times now. It's kind of crazy. But to be fair, I got an AOE card, so I can corrode the barn anyway. But if I didn't, then um, at least I could actually just buff remove the uh, Twiggo. So, so once again, the, the good thing about his buff removal is you can stop the Twiggo. But once again, it doesn't mean much when literally, when Esteros doesn't struggle against the actual Twiggo anyway. I uh, will do this uh, right now. Oh, you this. Actually, hang on. A we buff remove and we'll see if this kills. I mean, look, you, you like to see some use that I trying to single target skill, so I don't mind this too much here. Oh, we corroded the actual uh, Kyo. Oh, I forgot he was there actually. 42k against Twiggo. Oh, yeah. It, it just it just don't do damage. It just don't do damage. It's it's so depressing. It's so depressing. Because yeah, I can buff remove him. But if I had a good card there, like if I had like a, like let's say we got Klee, for example, right? That would have probably killed the Twiggo. So, like, I'm hoping one of his actual relic will just to give all of his skills cleave. Like, that'd be sick. Imagine you got cleave, where his single target skills did cleave, and also his AoE did cleave and pierce. That'd be sick. And also make the ultimate do more damage, too. Alright, got his team. Hopefully, once again, he's a real player. We did start second. Okay, can I win against this? I'm not too sure, you know. If I get triple AoE, maybe? Uh, we did. Um... If it had effect, it would be good because I would have infected and then done double AoE and then um, she wouldn't be able to heal. So, me doing triple AoE right now is uh, not too great, actually. So, um... Once again, I'm not sure this is the best play. Uh, I guess I can just rush ultimate, to be fair. I uh, will do one AoE, I think. This is the play, I'm not too sure. I think we should do one AoE. Get a bit of darkness on, get a bit of debuffs on too, so we get um, some base stats here. But I'm hoping you just don't kill. That's just all I'm hoping for, because, um, yeah, that's literally all we can do right now. Because, like, but you can't start second attacking to that, that Sario. Um, let's see what he does here. He should use a single target first. Yeah, he is. And then the AoE card, which uh, now is with the buff on. Oh, no buff. I can't mind. We survived. <laughs> Alright, we won, I think. Alright, let me just do some AoEs first. Hang on. That's three AoEs. Um, and then I will target... No one, I think. I will get rid of you. Margaret's annoying. She has all the base stats. Might as well. He's already healed, so he's not going to heal. Okay, 59k was getting good damage with the pierce buff, but uh, once again, it's nothing too crazy, right? It's a little bit of damage increase from what Medios already does, and then, yeah, the ultimate wipes. My mom was 4-6, to be fair, so it's not too bad, and uh, this kill is so... I got really lucky we got the ultimate there, because if I didn't get my ultimate with Mediodas, I definitely would have lost there. If I got my ultimate, I think, with um, Chandler, I definitely wouldn't have won. Maybe yes, I could have won if I got his ultimate, but it had to be 6-6. Six, six. Mine's only 1-6, so literally the only thing I could have done there was rush ultimate Meliodas. So, uh, thank God we did. And if we did not apply that darkness and also the little bit of debuffs on to give us more base stats from Zelda, then uh, we probably would have lost that. Alright, we have found finally another Pergrave Barn. It's just to give me all the Pergrave Barns safe for some reason. But, uh, it was getting, it might be a real player. I just gotta make sure. We did get a good start, though, so hopefully he is a real player. No, I don't think he is. Oh, no, he's okay, okay, okay. Um, really high CC, so there's no way this guy's got a V feed on. So we've got the perfect start here. If you do get the triple pierce card at the start, then it's actually really, really good, actually. So we actually probably do a lot of damage here. Plus, we're playing triple, um, what's it, triple darkness on. So, like, they're almost all dead already. Yeah, it's not bad. How much damage did my actual channel do? It, it must have been, I think it's alright. And then now, once again, he's really weak, like I mentioned, right? So, what we can do is do that little buff card, the buff removal. Which, like I mentioned, it does so little damage. It's going to make him, like, it's going to do, like, 10k, 20k. So, um, Arthur will not break that actual threshold to where you can actually get, um, the revive or, like, the full heal, basically. So, I can just do a tier 2 with my Esterosa and kill. See, like I can say exactly what I'm saying. So, uh, that's the, the one good thing about Chandler. It's, his card is so bad, it's not going to do anything. Okay, so, um... Yeah, we'll just do one of these. It will buff remove him, so he's not got HP. Make him weak enough to my Tatu can kill. And then next turn, since he's got Evader right now, wait till that Evader's gone. And then we'll just do AoE and probably probably two fair kill. Like I mentioned, yeah, I think if I used any single target skill there, other than Chandler, it would have um 
100% would have probably uh, broken. He would have actually healed. Okay, let's see what we get. So hopefully, they don't get evade again. Does the evade stack? Oh, you got debuff minions. It's quite annoying. To be fair, I probably still can kill, but it's actually quite annoying. Yeah, oh, that might be big for him, you know. Okay, he shouldn't get two ultimates, right? Okay, he really should have rushed uh, things ultimate. Yeah, why'd he go for Chandler? He really should have rushed Rhino's ultimate, because I can't corrode him, so I might not be able to kill him. Well, I can just corrode Barn, and to be fair, leave him. But uh, to be fair, I'm still going to kill. Just still going to use two skills. Yeah, no, he kind of messed up on that one. Hopefully, we don't get a merger. If he's big brain, he actually would have baited me there, I think. Okay, apply some more debuffs on. We'll, um... Buff remove, see how much damage Chandler can do there, and then just play up more debuffs here, and then also go for a uh, tier 2 card, which should kill it. But, um, yeah, let's see how much damage it does do. Oh, I forgot we. Yo, I actually didn't realize he was taunting. Okay, I almost threw that. I actually almost threw that. Thank God I used that, that buff card. I, I literally used that buff card just to see how much damage it did do, but I forgot the guy was taunting. Okay, so good thing we did that. So, like I mentioned, yeah, Chandler's good against Twiggo, but, like, once again, like. I, if I corroded him, I could have just left him and he still wouldn't have killed. So, yeah, it didn't make much of a difference towards the actual barn team, but at least it's more easier now, I guess. But, uh, yeah, boys, that's all for today. I played a few games today, actually, quite a lot, actually, but I'm not sure how much I included for this video. But, uh, yeah, man, Chan is, he's usable, which is a, a decent thing to say. But, like I said, it's if, if his CC, I think, is kind of bad. I think he might have more CC than Ragnarok Barn, which is kind of who he's replacing. But even then, it, when we get more demons, and unless they were usable in the sub slot, Chan is just going to be uh, not that usable. So, uh, yeah, boys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah. Peace.